and we got our test for customer team today guys as we predicted in the last video here I told you the resistance is being lowered for uh, customer team here around the $40 or around the 39 and today we got this test even around the 42 but we got a big week and the candle close now the test we test twice the 39 and three candles we close at 39 as we predicted in this video that we did on 24 of may so what's gonna happen for customer team and uh, what's this move all about so we're gonna talk about uh, the uh, like the um, uh, the behavior of this move and what will do uh, for us in the next days or months so be without further ado bless the like button and check my patreon uh, if you uh, link in the comment section below if you want caution one on one or this uh, discord channel where we discuss the prices uh, pre-market after market and during the market so you know where you get and when you get out where you take your profit and everything so without further ado let's get right to the video here guys we saw the <coughs> um uh, the uh, like after the split uh, after the news about the split we saw the price went down uh, on the monday and we hold around the 36 as we uh, said before we have double bottom right now the volume dropped and as as i told you in the last video we're gonna see a test before we go e even uh, lower but we're gonna see a test for higher prices around the 040 guys and this level here and guess what even we did it at 20, uh, 39 and guess what the 39 precisely was this is was a fake out guys it's big wake but we don't see any closing candle above so we didn't um, um, uh, take it as an account because this is where we got the um, the massive jump so we just test for the 41 or the 42 before we jumped but the massive uh, resistant level actually around the 39 that's why we see now uh, two candle or almost three candle test this level precisely as we predicted and we can look here the volume is being a massive uh, actually here around um, uh, this level is around the 400 and 700 almost 1 million or 2 million worth of volume that's why it uh, give us some move up and this is what we predicted uh, as we said in the coming days I told you guys there is a big test gonna happen uh, around this level this is a, if there is a might uh, f uh, f uh fighting chance for a ctrm to go any higher so this is a really good move to see from caster ma team uh, to have at least never consolidate a lot of time around the 036 cent as i told you guys the more we consolidate and we have the price like j uh, never jump but it always um like testing the 036 this is will really be bad as we can look here the 24 we just did it in one day and then we got jumped this is a really good uh, behavior to see sometimes some stocks uh, get consolidating uh, exactly at the support and this is show you either two ways either the price will jump like with um, what uh, happened here or the big chance the more we consolidate here we see a gap down and as we can look here what happened here at the 19 of may and 20 of may and then we saw the gap so this is really risky guys uh, if you buy when that uh, the price is actually consolidate too much time so what you can do you don't buy or you just close your position when the market closes before the market closes before because sometimes with volatility and uh, big news like this we can see a gap if you just hold after hours uh, you can't close and you uh, have risk management so this is really risky guys and if you're a long holder this is different because you can hold but you be ready to average down at the right prices and after the jump you can actually sell to average down again and from what i uh, look here guys uh, any jump that we do 
after we have this massive jump and it's really good but this is not good if we have the price go lower like uh, we can see here the price if it go lower again at test the 36 it means this is the um, this uh, the buying pressure happened here is not uh, genuine and it's just like uh, drive the price up then they try the market maker sell everything here and this is will drive the price down again so this is not good to see it happened here guys at the 13th of May when we hit the 36 we saw a uh, buying pressure then a big sell-off and a gap here you see this is the market maker they just push the mar the buy um, the price higher so they can sell higher you see uh, here the price here they buy then they sell all of it here that's why we see a selling pressure around this level and we see the uh, the price go down again here hopefully we don't see it again uh, the price go even the 42 then we see a massive rejection then the price go down again so what we want to uh, predict or uh, to tell you guys to the honest truth and without bias if we saw the price just go to 37 and we don't go above here if we go just below this line guys by today or tomorrow this is really bad because the next time we test the 36 we're gonna see the price give uh, go even lower as we predicted before around the 33 first and uh, if we don't hold we might see a lower price uh, for Kasrami team. We're gonna talk about the lower price in the next video But at this time guys, this is really important to not go below the 37 if, if we go again and this is will show that the move that we did is inside their move and all they did drive the price up so they can sell at a high price and then the price will gravitate down again so now we have to watch for this level around the 37 we don't want to see the 36 uh, this is really important and by today we don't want to close below this candle uh, here below this candle we don't want to close here at 3728 precisely we don't want to see a price go lower so uh, this uh, kind of movement you see big buying pressure but we don't hold after this resistance around the 39 as I showed you guys this is a big resistant level and psychological level and uh, a lot uh, uh, many of you ask me like uh, how, what kind of confirmation uh, you want to get from our chart uh, the small time frame is kind of good but uh, it never it give you uh, like legit uh, confirmation because it give you fast signal and that a bigger time frame is better but is uh, have some delay so you actually get your confirmation at the end of the day so you can actually take both of them and then you decide on the small picture so it's more like uh, you have to adjust and try so many times to know the how to combine the two charts together that's why i'm here guys to show you exactly um where you should buy like here you have to wait until the closed candle before you confirm here we don't see a closing candle above the 39 but rejection here we want to see a closing candle here above the 40 uh, but we didn't see this uh, that's why we get rejected and we go down again so hopefully we don't go below the 37 and uh, by this uh, week we see a, a closing candle above here to test again the 42 and go above this time the 42 and consolidate above the 42 this is really important to hold for Kasrami team and have a momentum to, and go up again and we never visit again the 36 as I told you if we visit um, again the 36 we are gonna explode down really hard because this 36 is really important level for Kasrami team guys as I show you before um, always respect their level always know your support and your resistance and 
trade accordingly and never push the trade never try to be hasty and be like um, when you see the price like this go up you buy at 42 never buy at the resistance guys as I always show you as I told you at around the 40 we're gonna see a massive rejection unless we have a closing candle above our resistance but we didn't as I show you here in the video so without further ado Bless the like button and hopefully you have a, uh, a good day trading today even is a, a bit red, uh, green uh, but we didn't hold the green hopefully we hold the green by tomorrow as I show you watch out for those level and let's hunt.